I don't know who this message for, but I was guided to. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whoever I'm talking to, I, you know, congratulations to whoever you are. Now, because this is, this is, I love doing love readings, you know what I'm saying? I love this shit. So, what I'm getting here is, you got to keep an open mind. Your soul may make different from your usual type. That's the first card that came out. So, this person may differ from your usual type and your usual expectations, whoever this person is. So, for that to be the first card to come out, that's like spirit telling me um, that whoever you are, this person may not be your usual type, whether it's on your end or their end. Maybe they're not used to being with somebody like you or, or vice versa. I don't know. Take how it resonates. Then you got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Whoever this person is, they different. Y'all, you don't want nobody just like you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Who wants somebody who's just like them? Right? But keep an open mind. So for whatever for whatever it's worth, this person is not your usual type of person that that you used to dealing with. And this, to me, this, that makes it all the worst the more wild to me. You know what I'm saying? Then you got this soulmate engine. You got new love. So this is a new person. This is a new person. Then the bottom of the deck, you have calling in your soulmate. So it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I feel like, um, I don't know, whether y'all in a relationship with somebody else and then y'all finna split, somebody's walking away from somebody. I don't know. Let's see. If you, hold on. Let me see. Are you in a relationship right now? And if you are, let me see. Or are they in a relationship? Let's see. I don't know. Now, if y'all not, then this is y'all coming together. I feel like you've been calling this person in or they've been calling you in. Maybe you're just looking for love, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Real love. Um, your prayers are coming true as far as they go, right? So, let's just say you're somebody who's very loving and caring, you know, kind, um, whatever you do, you know, just like, um, really like you, I feel like you're the type of person where you, you, you know, your partner don't have to tell you what they want. You already know what they want. You already know what they need so that you already got it. They ain't even got to ask for it cause you already know. Right. But this say you with somebody who's like not, not the total opposite is you. Like they're not caring. They're not responsible. They're not, you know what I'm saying? That type of thing. And then you walking away. I don't know. I feel like somebody walk. He might be walking away from this person. Oh shit! In the next three months, and uh, uh, so if you is with somebody in the next three months, you could be walking away and going towards somebody else, or somebody else coming towards you, or however you end up or in a year. So we got three months to a year. Yeah, you could just go. You could just go. <clears throat> But spirit is saying this, and you you calling this person in, bro. When I saying all these cards out here like this, <clears throat> well, either they calling you in, but when I seen it, I was like, I got to do a read. I got to, I got to. So nothing, something is significant from the next three three months to a year. So <clears throat> to me, with this three months to a year, it could be three months on up to a year. You know what I'm saying? On up to twelve months. Three months on up to twelve months. Well, on up to, you know, to the, you know, the 12th month up is what I'm trying to say, until the year up. So, I don't know. I feel like that's when you're going to meet this person. So, something could be significant in the next three months on up to, you know. Mm. So, but yeah, when I sent these cards, y'all like, yeah, I got to come. This is a message for somebody. You finna get ready to meet somebody. Let me see if they finna, yeah. Look at that. Give this relationship a chance. So, whoever this person is, it's safe for you to love this person, Okay. When you meet them, it's safe for you to love this person. You ain't got to worry about is this person gonna betray you? Cause like in y'all, y'all different in so many ways, but a but a like in that way where uh, I'm not gonna do nothing to hurt you. I'm really a soulmate. I'm somebody who wants to help you. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and vice versa. They they ain't finna do nothing to hurt you. You ain't gonna have to question it. You know your intuition will, will give you red flags, give you signs, right? And you don't pay attention to them. I'm just not so much getting, I'm like, then you're going to get no red flags with this person. You know how you have stuff that you have to pay attention to that's off about a person? I'm not getting that with these, with y'all too. So you got calling in your soulmate, give this relationship a chance, getting to know each other as you as you reveal your innermost self. So y'all going to, yeah, you got to release your ex. And I'm going to say this too. I'm going to say this too because I just got to say this. If it, if this is an ex, you you need to release them. If this is a past person coming in, um, I don't care if they 
If it's somebody that you, if it really is a past person, they can come in as somebody new because they could have changed, okay? Or want you to think they changed, right? So, but if it's anybody from the past, let, let them go. This person coming in, let them go. Um, let them go. That's all I'm saying about that. It could have been like some type of religious factor, the reason why y'all uh, y'all split up. So, you know, this person could be spiritual, you could be religious, or you religious, then spiritual, or Christian, however. You know, I don't know. Whatever you are, whatever that is. So, you got getting to know each other. So, that's what y'all going to be doing. Keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type. But y'all going to get to know each other. So, this going to be one of those things where it's just not going to be like, um, um, I, I'm going to see them one time and I don't want to see them no more. Or I'm going to hit and quit it or anything like that. This is not that. This is y'all getting to know each other. This y'all getting to know each other before you do anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting like friends before anything. And I always say that. Because like who won't want that? In a relationship. That's how the relationship lasts. So Spirit is saying, give this relationship a chance. It's safe for you to love this person. You know what I'm saying? This is so many inches. So they coming along to help you. This, they not trying to hurt you. They they don't want to hurt you. They don't want nothing from you. This is somebody who got it all. They don't want nothing from you. You ain't got shit they want. <clears throat> and, and, and and um vice versa. It's like you you can um um I'm hearing that song. I can't even get the word out because I'm hearing that song. You can have whatever you like. I'm hearing that, but I wanted to keep talking. But at the same time, I'm hearing this on Spirit saying, I don't know. So you can have whatever you like. I think that's Ti. That mm -mm, I don't know. Dick. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, next three months on up to a year. So this what, whatever it is. <clears throat> so um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if this person was, is is with somebody or maybe you. I don't know, but um, uh, who else, if you let's just say you with somebody, I see you moving on. Look, I see you moving on. Thank you, Nix. I definitely see you moving on if you with somebody. <clears throat> Whoever I'm talking to, this is our energy. I'll pull some. Yep, want you. Ooh, what the hell? Yeah. And like I said, if this is a past person, they definitely want you back. They coming in is um. Have this person changed? Cause, indeed. Okay. What are they coming back for? Yes, they've changed. True, they've changed. Okay, so we got yes, true, and indeed. So uh, this is one of those things that I'm going to say, you're just going to have to follow your heart. I can't tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it de it depends on what happened, what they do. You know what I'm saying? And then, then too, it's like, I feel like if, um, I really can't tell you how I feel because it's me until I'm in this situation. But, you know, your past is your past for a reason, right? But that don't mean, you know, because sometimes they say people deserve a second chance. But that's why I say it all depends on what this person did. You know? That's all I can say. It all depends on what they did. But. Mm -hmm. Whatever they did, you moved the hell on. For somebody, you moved on. You got out of there. You said, mm-mm, uh -uh, next. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. Huh. Is this a past person? For some of y'all, y'all situation different. But let me see if this was somebody. Is this a past person coming back? Yeah, right. Very said, good luck with that. Mm. This a past person. Oh, yes. So for somebody, um, you had a past person just trying to come back. But they coming in is like change. So this okay, I did look up how this person was. Really, yeah, so they coming back is I guess yeah. We got yep when I spit the dick. Then we got a week right here, so three months. From a we got a week, three months, and a year. It's just crazy. Yo. And this this person trying to do come back too, for sure. Yeah, they trying to come back. 
Look, man, I don't know what to tell you, man, but they coming. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do with this information. <clears throat> for somebody. Now, that's for somebody. And for somebody, you got somebody coming towards you that you need to keep an open mind about because, you know, they might be a little different in many ways. But this is soulmate energy. It's okay for you to love this person. And then you got to get to know each other, which is let me know that y'all will be dealing with each other on further down the line. Then you got to give your relationship a chance. And for some of y'all, I don't know. If this an ex and you feel like you want to give them another, I don't know what you what you choose to do. I can only tell you what I would do. Because this ex, uh, I don't know. They they may have changed in so many ways, but I'm just not getting that they on your level. Or, you know what I'm saying? I feel, look, I ain't even shuffling. Yes, I did. Did I already? Moving on. I think I feel like you might move on. Thank you, next. I don't know. This person coming in. Look, we got force on the bottom of the deck and we got clout hungry give money. So they what they coming in for they think you got some money, but they ain't shit. Yeah, I don't know y'all. Then they'll try to manipulate the energy. Making you think that they, whoever this person is in the past, they could have they could have possibly said that they was your soul made of some shit. And then they want you to still think that hell no. Or like, like leave the past in the past. Leave the past where is it? Because if you want to manipulate the energy into somebody thinking that somebody want to Love bomb you or somebody love spares to make you think that that's your soulmate, but that's not. Or whatever the hell they said they was soulmate, twin flame, whatever. This is somebody who want to force things on you. Look, force force their way in. That's why you moved on. Okay, so look, check this out. If they, I don't want to confuse y'all, but let's just say they did change in some ways, right? For everybody's situation different, so you got to take the message and apply. Some some of these men and women and change. Some of them have it. Okay, but you got moving on. Whatever they did, they did some shit to you that they forced their way in. They forced things on you. Whatever they forced on you, they forced their way in. They used force to get what they wanted. Oh shit! They used force to get what they wanted, and you 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 realized them red them red flags, and you walked away. Now. Yeah, now if they want to come back, that's why you got to release your ex, okay? Then you got clout hunger right here. So I don't know they clout hunger. They just coming in because they want some money, okay? But they ain't shit. This is somebody who hit you in a love triangle. Damn. It was a third party. Multiple lovers. They were dealing with multiple lovers. Mm. Okay, take that for what it's worth. That's a message for somebody. So take, take what applied. This is a love ring, so, you know... You know what you're dealing with. <clears throat> and somebody in the next three to three months on down, you need to be um somebody coming towards you. You see this this see. They moving in silence right now. Yeah, for somebody um uh, yeah, you died the bullet when you walked away from whoever this was. And I am saying somebody walking away from somebody too coming towards. So I wonder is this uh soulmate energy. Uh is they walking away from somebody coming towards you? Come on, spirit. I went, Ooh, yeah, yes. So they walking away from a karmic relationship and they coming towards you, but they moving in silence with it. The spirit said anything is possible. Yup, look, yup. Mm, they moving in silence with it. That's the best way to do it. That's all I'm saying. That's the best way to do it. But, yep, yep, yep. It's some deceit going on in the relationship they in now. Okay, yeah, they into you, baby, baby. They into you. I'm so into you. I really like what you done to me. I can't really explain it. I'm so into you. Mm -hmm. Into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. And positive, positive energy. That's what I'm saying, look. As y'all get to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves and your bond deepens, this person's going to be into you. You're going to be into this person. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive energy. Mm. Would you look at that? Would you? I hear that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I'm just hearing music, y'all. In my head, I don't know. Somebody listening to them. Would you? mm 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 -mm. I don't know what he's saying. Would you loosen up or would you look at that or whatever the hell saying? Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, because um, whoever they with, it's like um, unrequited love. It's not enough love or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Of whether, or, or you know, this is our energy. So this is on your end or the other person's end that you're thinking about. So, you know, if it's not enough love and chemistry to keep the relationship going, yeah. yeah I'm picking up on seven stories. If it's not enough love and chemistry to keep the relationship going, then the relationship can't last. So somebody's walking away and going towards somebody else that's going to treat them how they want to be treated. Okay? So whatever that, whatever that thing is, the reason why it's not enough love and chemistry, to keep the, it could be anything. It could be because... Um, you're not being treated right. Um, things are not reciprocal. Like it's out, it's a one street when it's supposed to be. Um, I ain't gonna even say fifty fifty because y'all do what's on your heart. I don't know what y'all choose to do amongst y'all, whatever y'all got going on. I just know that um, it shouldn't be one sided in a relationship. No relationship. It shouldn't be one sided. Everybody supposed to put in, pitch in equally. You know what I'm saying? If you put stress on the other person, how can you love somebody that much or care for them? Or want to help them, but you putting all the stress on them and, and, and all the, you know, you know, ten of, ten of wands, you know, you put all this shit on somebody back and you just sit up there watching them struggle and you with them too, but you just, you just living the life. You ain't got a care in the world, you know, that type of shit. So if you're walking away, you walking, you're going towards somebody else, somebody coming towards you. Okay. Now, you know, I'm getting a couple scenarios. I think I gave like two or three of them, right? And then, like I said, you got somebody that you need to release because they're trying to come back in. But, you know, uh, I, I just ain't, I ain't feeling them. This is a love reading. I'm going to keep it strictly that. I don't want to keep clarifying to see what they did because then I'll be talking about some other shit and they ain't going to be the love read. So, uh, yeah, so I'm about to end this reading. But whatever this person did to you, though, with one of, one of these situations is like, they really like going through it now, um, having flashbacks or something, having flashbacks because of how they treated you. Now, I don't know if they coming in to, yeah, shit, it don't even matter. You uninterested, you ain't interested, uninterested, you are interested in, in whoever this person is. Anything of the past, you are interested. You ain't studying it. So I feel like, yeah. Now, I could be talking to you. You could be the same person I'm talking to with with both of these scenarios. Like, you could be leaving somebody, going towards somebody else, okay? Or, um, you and you got an ex that's trying to come back and get in your energy. Man, you got a lot going on. Because, I don't know, somebody, you could be leaving somebody, going towards somebody else, and you got an ex trying to come back. There's a lot of shit to be going through. Leaving somebody... And in the midst of that, you meet a soulmate energy, okay? And y'all hit it off. Because somebody definitely leaving somebody. Going towards true love. And I feel like even though you're in a relationship over here, with whoever this is, you just still been, like, calling somebody else in. Like, you, you want more. Or somebody can't give you what you asking for, what you want. They can't give you more. So you're going towards somebody who can. Maybe somebody don't like the fact somebody want to fight you. It's a it's a female energy want to fight you because somebody coming towards you. That's what I'm saying. Whoever this person is. Okay. If this is masculine energy, you leaving whoever this karmic is going to be with a soulmate energy. And whoever he with, this karmic want to fight you. She could be like looking you up. This going to a deep, some deeper. This ain't even no fucking love reading at this point. Uh, whatever. We just gonna roll with y'all. So she leaving. So he leaving her to come towards you, and she wanna fight you. Look, arguments, physical fight, and war competition. So she been competing with you. She wanna fight you. She wanna argue with you, right? And she like communicating on fake accounts, look, fake social media accounts to spy. Facebook. If you got a Facebook, or Instagram, or Twitter, or YouTube, she on his. Look, bad reputation. What the hell? Want you back? Mm. Take how it resonates. And this could be the ex talking to somebody, and and she a karmic, and she got a bad reputation. Both of them may have a bad reputation, or they gave you a bad reputation, and he want to come towards you, and she want to fight you because 
he wants you to take it how it resonates. I don't know. I don't know y'all business. Yeah, cop blocking. Literally, I'm telling you, she cop blocking. In either scenario, somebody to cop blocking don't want somebody to come towards somebody, bro. This this the thing of it all. Somebody cop blocking out here. You got cop blocking and you got girl fight. <laughs> you got cop blocking and girl fight. Bro, this who I'm just saying cop blocking. <coughs> Man or woman, they cop blocking this this uh, relationship. Somebody don't want it to be. <clears throat> yep, they don't want somebody to come in and make an offer. That's what they call it, say offer. I, I'm uh, I don't know where it go, but yeah, they want to come in with an offer and um. <clears throat> Damn, it's crazy. Oop. Uninterested. Uh, uninterested. So you uninterested? Like then I just say they want to come in with an offer, but you literally uninterested. You like hell no. I'm cool, like, it's cool, everything cool, everything cool, B. Yeah, yeah. uh-uh. Well, somebody's uninterested in this relationship, so they're going towards something else, fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, you know, whatever, to each his own. Somebody, and then, because I'm telling you, somebody's uninterested in somebody and they're going towards somebody, or somebody want to come towards you that you might be uninterested in. That's not good for you. And maybe you know that, yeah, in their head, overthinking, stress, they overanalyze and coming towards you. <laughs> Look, yo, <laughs> ah, yo, ass running, yo, ass like, uh uh, hell no. Nah. Right? Look, and then you got rejected. So, hell no. Nah. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. So you got, you got running, you got uninterested, running, and rejected. You gonna reject the hell out they ass. You hear me? If this is an ex or something like that, that did something in the past, you you gonna reject them, bro? Especially if they left somebody, went to somebody else, and put you second or whatever. Yeah, you uninterested. You uninterested in them now. You know what I'm saying? You running from their ass. You like, hell no, nah, I'm running. I'm running. And I'm walking right there. Look, I block your ass. I rejected you. So you need to stay rejected. Now I'm finna run for your ass. And I, you know what I'm saying? Now I ain't running no more, bitch, because you can't catch up because you ain't on my level. Now I'm just gonna walk. Like, hell no, nah, whoever this is. Baby, I, it's too high for TV. Oh, this too high for TV. You got some type of image or reputation. Look, somebody want to fight you, baby. Somebody want to fight you. Damn, what they call it, say? He said something. What was they call it, y'all? Damn. Yeah, somebody talking shit. <laughs> Damn, what they call it, y'all? He said something about like your image or somebody's reputation ruined. Or it's something about somebody's reputation. Or if they doing something for clout. Doing anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Something like that. Cardi B and um, Offset do anything for clout. Go listen to this junk. It's like people talking shit, but they doing it from the couch or something about. Man, you got a group. You know, you got groupies, bro. You got people who don't like you. And then you got girl fights. So I don't know if this the the uh, film engine that they 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 leaving to come towards you, and, and um she want to fight you, and she got her little groupie friend like they all groupies. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's crazy. And it's something about your image <coughs> or reputation. I don't know. Is this person like clout hungry? I don't know. Who are you? Like, are you in the public's eyes some some type of way? Let me see. Cause this is like I'm getting clout. Clown hog. Look, spit the dead gets. So I don't know. You might be in the public's eye or something. <clears throat> and, um. <clears throat> then look, yes. So I feel like you in the public's eye. And this person, Clown Hog, now they want to come towards you. No, I'll be. Damn, we got the choice is yours hit the flow. So, I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> the choice is yours. You know what I'm saying? You can't listen to me. It's on you what you want to do. But I'm going to tell you this right here. Baby, it ain't your path for a reason. So, you finna make me keep pulling to see what this person did to you. Because, uh, like, you know, you know, you know, you know, past energy. I want, don't you want something new? 
like whoever they resonate with. Some some of y'all ain't got somebody new come towards y'all. Some of y'all just got an ex that's coming towards y'all. It's possibly changed or acting like it's changed or whatever the fact is or just trying to fuck with you for clout or something. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, you are to release that person because this is not your true love, okay? It's in reverse. Somebody's going to come towards you and have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation and want to tell you something. I don't know. And, I, and how I feel about it, if it's something about the past, it depends on what it is. Like, here you go. This right here, image representation. I don't know. Somebody image. Somebody's in the public eye. But yeah, I don't know. If if they wanna I just feel like if this past energy, whatever this is, they should have been came towards you and told you. You know what I'm saying? Why you wait till now to come towards me to tell me? You made me feel like you had something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Or you knew something and you just were keeping that shit a secret so you continue to let something happen to me, you didn't say nothing. So I guess you couldn't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? But you only coming towards somebody cause you a groupic or cause you you know what I'm saying, you're a group of yourself. Or you coming towards me cause you you want some clout. Cloud chasing on you. What, what, what is it? Yeah, somebody and then I'm also saying like, if it's a, if somebody want to come towards you or something, and somebody is like really blocking this person or blocking y'all. Yeah, look, somebody want to come in and make an offer, but um, it, they being blocked. Like, somebody or somebody trying to block them. I feel like they was blocked. I don't know. I feel like now they not blocked. Now they coming towards you. Because they all in their head about it. They they overthinking it. They, I feel like they going to do it. <clears throat> Somebody out here, in some scenario, they, um, yeah, you uninterested. <laughs> ah, somebody got some legal situations going on out here. I don't know who, who, who this is. I don't know. The legal situation could be a, a divorce or something. I don't know. Or if somebody want to come back right, you got an ex that want to come back right, they were dealing with somebody, and they got some type of legal issues, I don't know, could be for what they did to you, okay? Or whatever they did to you, they, they could be finna go and go to jail for it or, um, or whatever for it, I don't know. And then they want to come back to, I don't know, lessen the karma? I don't know, let's talk about this? I don't know, something like that. But you just uninterested in it. Or whatever they got to say, you interested in it. You just uninterested. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't blame you. To each his own. Mm. I'm trying to see, do I want to even know what this person did? I don't know. Is they coming towards you with some information? What do this person want? Somebody in this start with an N, an F. An N, an F. Yeah. A B. So we got N F B Aquarius. So you could be an Aquarius or they could be an Aquarius. So yeah, it resonates. I don't know, man. Let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So you could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Tyre, Drogo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, <clears throat> Life Path 1, Tyre, Drogo, Capricorn, Life Path 3, Life Path 1, Saturn, Life Path 3, Sagittarius, Jupiter, Saturn, Moon, Venus, Sun, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Saturn, I mean Sagittarius. Virgo, Uranus, Pisces, Neptune, okay? So you could be any one of those signs. Okay, some of them I call more than one, so there's double confirmation on the signs. But, <coughs> yeah, look at this. In the near future, somebody's going to get ready to come towards you. So take whichever scenario applies. Everybody's different. 
But yeah, but I I, I definitely see you in, uninterested in like if this this past person I don't know. Now if they came towards you, I don't know if you want to hear what they got to say or something. You might do that. Let's see, how you gonna do that? Shit, you might stop them from saying, talking or some shit. Like they might try to, you might stop them. Yeah, no, I'll just stop talking. Like, I just see you uninterested. Like if you want to listen, but as far as like a relationship goes, no, nah, you ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to make peace or something like that. I guess you you um, might be open to it. I don't know. Let's see how you open to it. <clears throat> no. Okay, so you ain't open to it. You're not even open to what they got to say. Damn. Cold-blooded. I guess you like his. <laughs> Look there, bro. You ain't nothing you can say to me after what you did to me. Ain't nothing you can say. Yeah, I do see you. You ain't, you ain't open to it. Not at all. At all these cars, no came out. You're not open to it. Just this point blank period. But, you know, the choice is yours if you want to have a conversation with them or whatever the fuck. But, you like, nah. <laughs> you like, nope. Nah, no. Nah, you ain't doing this shit. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. Okay, y'all. I'm in this read. Oh, thank God for being here. I don't know why I feel like I should have pulled more on this uh this uh <clears throat> soulmate energy, this new person. What, what y'all think? Cause somebody right here, soulmate, new love, and getting to know each other. Yeah, let's just pull a few. I mean, I ain't got nothing to do. <clears throat> Damn, okay. Okay, soulmate, new love, and then you got getting to know each other. <clears throat> I'm going to draw my card. I don't know what that was. And I ain't finna pick it up. Okay, let's see. What card I'm looking for? <laughs> She was going on with the new partner. Oh, look, their life partner. <coughs> For somebody, you got somebody old and somebody new. And this this old person, this ex, they want you to forgive them, and they want to come confess some shit to you. But you know, whatever, however you feel about it, I don't know. I can't tell you how to feel. But shit, they coming in, bro. They they won't get out my energy, bro. Leave me alone, like leave me alone, though. Yep, they they want to come back. They they want to come back mad too. Like they want to come back and tell you some shit. Mmm. But I feel like they could have been told you whatever this is. Yeah, they finna reach out. Expect a call or a text. They finna reach out, but man, bro. I'm trying to talk about this new person. Bro, you trying to overlap the end of read, bro. Just gone. I ain't with all that. I really, this, this is giving me like, you make me feel like you controlling or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. Okay, so made new love against know each other. So, who? look, perfect match. Y'all gonna be the perfect match. The perfect couple. You complete each other. Okay? It's an unexpected connection. Opposites attract. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all gonna be opposite in many ways, but y'all gonna be, like, alike in a lot of ways, too. As you get to know each other, you're gonna be like, damn, I didn't know that we had this in common. I thought we was, um, we didn't really have nothing in common. Oh, I thought you weren't the person for me, but your spirit said, keep an open mind. You gotta keep an open mind about them. Until you get to know somebody, you're not going to know how they are. You can listen to the motherfuckers all day long, say you this and that. But until you deal with that person. Okay? Then you got soulmate. You have found your romantic counterpart. Okay. So, yeah, I'm seeing a long-term relationship here. 
I'm seeing the long jump that period. I'm seeing soulmate energy, then you got soulmate again. Then you got keeping open mind, calling in your soulmate right here. Yeah, calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other, give your relationship a chance. Mm. Give your relationship a chance, keep an open mind. Ain't nothing bad, bro. Love language is gift giving. So maybe that's gonna be our love language, gift giving. I think I said something. Did I say something like that? Like you ain't gotta tell me what what you like. I'm already know what you like because I know you because I study you because I'm into you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of thing. Oh, somebody might got kids. I wonder why they love my kids. Man, look, if if that person love you, then they supposed to love your kids. Point blank. Period. Mm. Okay, they should. You know. But we got love language gift giving, so I feel like this gonna be our love language. Burning desire, flames of passion ignite, forever young. <laughs> Real feelings. You share the you share true romantic feelings worth exploring. So y'all gonna explore y'all feelings with each other. Some elements of this relationship is disguised. Workplace romance. Mm, so I don't know. Maybe y'all gonna be working together. Spiritual soul path. A person. What they say? A personal evolution within your relationship. Spiritual soul path. Mm. Both y'all could be spiritual. Or don't have to be. I'm getting this person will totally be open to like if you were spiritual or they were spiritual. You you know you'll be to totally open to it. You know what I'm saying? Well, they'll be totally open to it. Like, that's what they like about you. That's why you're different. Because they're like, damn, I never met somebody spiritual before. Or I never met somebody that was into this or into that. I never had somebody like you. So, this kind of... Oh, what the fuck? Bro? I know this ain't this detective, man. Spirit, this is a detective person. Because, oh, because, like... <clears throat> This ain't not the right time. I'm going to pull it in, y'all. Is this a detective? Because, oh, shit, you got yelled. Damn, so, yeah. Ooh, this is a detective. Is this a detective for somebody? Well, your ex was a detective, or is a detective that's fucking coming towards you? Oh, wait. Proceed. Yep, they're going to proceed towards your ass. Damn. <laughs> Look, next month. Soon, got that really soon, really soon, really soon. Really soon for somebody. Really soon, man. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I don't know when I seen that uh common cause uh something common cause relationship, it made me think about the detective person. Friendly support. So, like, some elements of this relationship could be disguised because this person already giving you friendly support behind the scene. Or if they are a detective, maybe they're trying to help you. Maybe you got some shit going on, dealing with court situations or something with, with somebody possibly or whatever. And they helping you behind the scene or you going through something and they helping you. They give you aid and something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, you know what I'm getting at? Like they somebody who give you friendly support. Like maybe that's hidden. Maybe that's a, a part of you. Maybe you don't know that, that that they doing it. You don't know who they are, but they give you friendly support. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe I could be talking in some type of way, texting, emailing. I don't know. Or or they just helping you behind the scenes. Trying to give you some type, you know, so many energy, somebody who helps, right? Mm. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Damn, what happened to you? What the hell? Love language, affirmation, loving words, hold great power. This is somebody who 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 thinks highly of you, who speaks highly of you, or you know, like somebody trying to say something about you. They like, no, uh, -uh. they don't, they ain't believe in this shit, or they know some type of truth about you. Like, can't nobody tell this person nothing about you, for real, for real. They ain't gonna say nothing bad about you. Then it's kind of say twin flame. You know, a soulmate can turn into a twin flame too as well. You know that, right? Uh -uh. Can't nobody say, yeah, you are worthy. This person knows that you are worthy. Then you got falling in love. So let's just say y'all y'all get to know each other, right? And like y'all working together. So y'all not dating yet, but then it's time to go back. As y'all working together, y'all take a liking to each other. And then start and fall in love. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's giving me. Uh-uh, uh 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 Baby. <laughs> I 
I'm hearing that song loud all week. Something about that bitch I love. I can't put my finger on it. Something about that bitch I love. I can't put my hearing it. Yeah, signs and clues. The universe is uh, is talking to you. So y'all pay attention to the signs and clues. Then you got wedding bells are ringing marriage. I'm down the line. Mm. Okay. Twin flying union. Twin flying recognition. You know this soul that mirrors your own. So I got twin flying recognition and twin flying union. Lord, and they got psychic connection. Both of y'all could be very intuitive. Hey, let's just say this detective. Is this a detective intuitive too, just like you? I feel like it's a detective here and they intuitive as fuck, just like you. That's where this psychic connection come in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Come on now. We got anything is possible. Look at it. And we got yes on the bottom of the deck. We got yes on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> believe it. I think this person intuitive too. So you got anything is possible. You got believe it. I do. I feel like they, the choice is yours. I feel like they intuitive too, just like you. Spirit said, right. <laughs> yep, most likely that they are um, intuitive too, just like you. Somebody, uh, they called it, just came out and said, wrong. What is that? Wrong. Take a chance. So, yeah, this person, they called it, came out before they said, wrong. I feel like somebody was wrong about you or somebody said something that wasn't true. Somebody can't say shit about you. I'm just telling you this. Not to this person. Somebody was wrong about you. I'm just saying somebody was wrong about you. Take a chance. I feel like this person going to take a chance and they're going to come towards you. They're not listening to what somebody say. Yes, they, I'm telling you, listen. Yes. You got a course. Mm, okay. So, I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, somebody coming, baby. Somebody is safe for you to love them and all those good things. And it's somebody that you need to release for somebody. <clears throat> so, yeah. And for somebody, you could possibly have two people coming towards you. Let me see right quick. Remember that y'all go. It's two people coming towards you. You might have a past energy and somebody new. Come on, I'm not ready. You got anything possible came out of you? Nope. Okay, no. Okay, so I'm going to take that and roll with that. <clears throat> so you got anything that's possible, you got no. So you may not have two people coming towards you, just one, okay? All right, y'all, I'm done. I'm done here. Love y'all. Y'all make good choices, and I'm out.